I'm sharing a bunch of tips and tricks to help you up your editing game in iMovie. Let's go. I'm Michael Archuleta, and these are the things we need to know. Like badass skills and tactics? Subscribe and hit the bell. So the first part to getting better edits is to have a solid workflow. So what I like to do is I like to have my main clip, my talking head in this case, come in first. And I'm gonna go ahead and crop this clip. Now this is uh, just over three minutes. And I'm gonna zoom in here just a tad. And you can see that there's a lot of air in here throughout the clip. So I know that for some of these I'm talking to myself. I'm saying like, oh man, waiting for traffic to pass and stuff like that. But the first thing I do is I come in here and I start cutting out the air. And to split a clip here, you can either left click first, then right click, and then split clip or we can just click before or after what it is we want to cut and hit command B and that'll split it and then after that we just delete the air by air I mean where there's no talking and get all of that out of the way and we just do this super quick we don't even have to listen through the first time because we're just cutting away the air Now after we cut out the air, I just listen back really quick and then I cut out the mistakes. From those clips you have, you'll end up splitting those up a little bit more and cutting out some of the junk that you have in those takes and tightening it up much further right here. Okay, so subscribe and until next time. After we've cut out the mistakes, we have the main clips that we're gonna keep. So what I do at this point is zoom in quite a bit and just trim up all the edges that I want. Now right here in the beginning I could take that away or I could leave it. Uh, in this case I'm going to go ahead and leave it but then I'm going to come right here and get at the very end of this word. Cut that out. I'm going to come here to right before that word. Cut that out. And another thing you can do when you're editing in these tight spaces like this is right at the end here if you put your mouse up right here it'll put up these arrows pointing both ways double click on that and you get kind of this precision editor and from here you can zoom one in that way zoom the other guy a bit that way and then when you click out of it you should have a, a tighter edit right there and then I'll come here at the end tighten that up just a tad actually I'm gonna leave that because I I know, uh... when I add the music that I'm going to cut right here to a logo when the, the beat hits the one. So that's good for that track right now. So now as far as workflow goes, we have a good main timeline and now we go ahead and work on the next steps. So the second thing to touch on is going to be sound design. And there's a couple things you could do with the sound that's pretty cool. One thing to touch on real quick is if you right click on a clip, you can detach the audio. And now you're working with the audio down here instead of in the main timeline. Essentially, we could put in an image here and run this audio just underneath that image. And so you will hear this while this is being shown. So for now, we don't want to do that, but that's just an example of what you can do. So another thing to touch on in audio is going to be how to adjust the music or any audio to your liking. One thing to do, let's see, let's pull in a song. This is 17, a 17 second clip. So just for the sake of this, we'll bring in, I want something a little bit longer, 18 second clip. So. Right here what I want to do is I don't want this music to overwhelm the audio track of the main timeline. So I'm, I'm going to drop this down. But let's say I wanted to take the audio out of here. We're going to drop this down. Let's say we'll just put this to like 10% for now. And we want to make the audio be quiet here, come up here 
and go back down here. So what we're gonna do is hit Option I and click on our first point that we want to start adjusting. We're gonna hold Option I and click again right next to it on that timeline. And then we're gonna add two more on the other side. Again, holding Option I and clicking where we want the adjustment to be made. So actually these guys I'm gonna slide way down here. And this guy I'm able to adjust like that. Keeping this portion at this volume level and having these other endpoints adjustable. And so one reason that I like doing these two dots next to each other is that instead of having the sound just drop right away, it kind of fades from this level of 100% down to this level of 14%. It's not just going to drop instantly, it's going to be a small dip or a small rise over here in this case. And we could stretch that out and modify it to be exactly how we'd like it to be. And so now when we play it back, you'll hear how the audio goes from quiet to loud. In, in iMovie, let's go. And over here we'll go from loud to quiet. Hit that like button, and I'd love to be a part. And with these little circles right here, black dot in a slightly transparent circle, you can fade in in the beginning. I'm sharing a bunch of And over here at the end, you're able to fade out. And obviously this music kind of dies down early. Let's say we were gonna cut the audio here. We can then grab this there and you'll hear it fade out now like so. Hit that like. So those are just a few things you can do with the audio. You can also use this technique to kind of dip out of any unwanted noise as long as it doesn't obstruct what you're already saying. If it does obstruct what you're already saying and you need to redo the audio track or a portion of the audio track, let's say there is some noise between here and here that I wanted to adjust, simply hit this record button and we'll be able to place a voiceover at that part. Let's go ahead and get a better vocal take. Let's go ahead and get a better vocal take. Hit that like. And so, you know, obviously that's not synced right there. Uh, I wasn't saying the same thing, just giving an example. And so yeah, take that, run with that if you need to. So one other cool little trick we can do in the audio realm is I always like to come and click on all my tracks and hit the auto button and then come over to this kind of bar graph over here and hit the reduce background noise. Now sometimes this will make it sound better, sometimes it won't. It's gonna depend on the take that you have. So just listen back to it and see if you need to use this. Also over here, sometimes when you hit auto, these uh, peaks here are gonna go pretty high. You don't want them to be all in the yellow or up in the red. Instead, what you want is kind of having those peaks just right there once in a while, crossing over into the yellow, and that's going to sound pretty good. So I'm actually going to drop that reduced background noise and just keep that track like that with the auto adjustment there. Sometimes you may have to increase all the volume tracks or decrease all the volume tracks just to get that right level. We definitely don't want it too quiet and having it too loud is going to also make it unbearable for the viewer. One other thing we can do with the audio that is pretty neat is let's say I wanted to speed up all these tracks. I thought maybe I was talking just a little bit slow. I could come over here to this uh, speed dial, go to the speed drop down menu right here, hit custom, bump that up to about 110%. And then, actually, I guess, 
probably not gonna let me do it on all the clips, so we'll go ahead and select this one clip, hit that speed dial, custom, 110, and then hit preserve pitch. Let's see if it does let me do it on two, and preserve pitch. And so now we'll see that this goes a little bit faster, but the volume, my voice doesn't get higher. Uh, my voice stays the same pitch. I'm sharing a bunch of tips and tricks to help you up your editing game in iMovie. Let's go. That's another little trick you can do. You can also slow it down and preserve pitch and use that effect that way as well, if you would like. All right, so one thing I wanna do right here is kind of fix up my green screen background. And I'm gonna try a couple different tricks here. First, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a green backdrop into my main timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out to about 18 seconds to cover the duration of these three clips. I'll bring these three clips above the green backdrop. Cool. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and get this green screen to come out a little bit clearer in my backdrop and the other thing I want to do is also move this portion of the video to where my head is on one of the sides. So let's go ahead and do those things. So first we'll go to this box in a box here, hit the cutaway drop down and go to green slash blue screen where we get this kind of key. I will hit this clean up button and hit that background and that cleans this up pretty nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that off. I'm gonna go ahead and green screen the last clip as well, just the same as the first clip. Now what I'm gonna do differently with this clip, I'm gonna go to picture in picture. I'm gonna blow myself up a little bit. And I'm gonna move myself to a side. I'm gonna move it right there. So now I have this kind of thing going on. And we also got this fade in and fade out, which ah, I don't wanna stretch that out, but I do not want that fade in there. So we'll go ahead and slide those little faders there and take that away. So now what we're gonna do So I'm finishing up this video and I realized that as I'm trying to download a file, the screen recorder quit working. So I missed about 10 to 15 minutes of video that I recorded, but oh well, that's how it goes. The clip that I'm working on actually did pan out. Are you trying to do something in iMovie and just not able to figure it out? Leave it in the comments below and I'll give it a look. I think there's a bunch of good information right here. And if these kind of videos help you, be sure to comment and let me know so I know to make more of them in the future. Hit that like button and I'd love to be a part of your journey, so subscribe. And until next time, stay badass.